the Nano Tyrannus has two options. First of all, Nano Tyrannus wasn't real. Ah! But second of all, it only has one option. Away from me! Uh, why are you chasing me? Uh! Try to finish off the remaining juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex, or turn around and run. Let me rephrase that for you. Kermit sewer slide, or run like any sensible thing would do. Man, these designs are ugly. What was your plan here? You weren't even running around it! It decides to pit its speed and agility against the strength of a mad Tyrannosaurus Rex. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? He tries to flank. If he can move around quickly move enough- Move around quickly enough, his head is in its mouth. She cannot respond. He can go in with his elongated snout, grab the juvenile, shake it in his mouth, and kill it and flee. But Nano Tyrannus underestimates his opponent. No shit! Fueled by raging levels of adrenaline. I completely forgot they used the Dino Crisis Roars. She spins and turns, avoiding his ah! random move. Why did you think this would work? She grabs the Nano Tyrannus in her mouth, and using the bite force of a thousand pounds per square inch, she crushes the back, crushes the ribs, and ends the life of this attacker. Wow, thanks for telling me that, George. My dumb baby brain couldn't figure that out from what I just saw. But killing the Nano isn't enough for the mother to rest. She wants to use him as a message to any other Nano Tyrannus that comes into this area. That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Having killed the attacker, she turns her attention to her lone surviving offspring. I have no words. This is just amazing. The fact that she's leaving a food source to attract other carnivores to where her only remaining offspring is, is amazing. T-Rex might have been smart enough to know revenge, but Jesus Christ, what is this? You stupid!